The man charged in the attack that left a St. John's County teen partially paralyzed pleads not guilty to attempted murder and aggravated battery. 18-year-old Spencer Pearson is charged with stabbing his ex-girlfriend Madison Shemitz, her mom, and a man who tried to stop the attack. Shemitz spoke about the stabbing earlier this month, saying that she's paralyzed from the chest down. The incident happened outside the Mr. Chubby's restaurant in Ponte Vedra. As News for Jackson reporter Khalil Maycock tells us, the mother of Madison Shemitz and the man who stopped the attack, they were both in court. While Spencer Pearson's lawyer was pleading not guilty on his behalf, Madison's mom and Kennedy Armstrong, the man who stopped the attack, were in the back of the courtroom staring at the two. After the court was over, I walked up to them and asked them if they had anything to say, and they said they didn't. 18 year old Spencer Pearson walked into court Friday afternoon shackled the scars on his neck from his self inflicted stab wounds visible as he stood before the judge. We're here for arraignment. Spencer's in receipt of a five count information, waives its formal reading and enters pleas of not guilty to all five charges. Pearson's lawyer, Matthew, spoke on behalf of him. The five charges break down to three counts of aggravated battery with serious bodily injury and two counts of attempted murder. Pearson is accused of attacking three people, his ex-girlfriend, 17-year-old Madison Shemitz, her mother, and Kennedy Armstrong. That's the man who stopped the attack, which happened outside of Mr. Chubby's in Ponte Vedra. From that attack, Madison is paralyzed from the chest down. In this surveillance video released earlier this month, you see the moments leading up to the attack and parts of it. This all happened days after Madison's mom reported Pearson to the police for harassment and stalking her daughter. The report details Pearson would follow Shemitz to school and leave notes on her vehicle. Without me being notified. Also in court, Pearson's lawyer argued he didn't see the surveillance video until after it was released to the public. So he filed this motion of protective order this week to stop the state from releasing material before the defense views it. And so it's troubling to see the discovery in my case being disseminated widely through the media. That motion was denied, but an attorney not affiliated with this case says Matthew filing the motion was done to protect their case as much as possible. The release of a video that shows an alleged act could uh, certainly stoke a lot of public emotion, uh, hamper plea negotiations, and even affect ultimately if the case were to proceed to a jury trial. The judge did set a pretrial date for September 28th. In St. John's County, Clay Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.